HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Committee and Field at Holliston High School for this boys lacrosse opener for the Hopkinton Hillers as they are the visiting team to the Holliston Panthers. Tom Nappy on the call from Holliston High School. It's a boys-girls doubleheader here today as both teams at the center of the field as we are just about ready for TVL Boys Lacrosse action here on HCAM as well as HCAT in Holliston. It should be a fun match here today. The Holliston Panthers 0-1 on the season. The Hillers play their first game right now here today. And they are certainly excited about this season. Talking to head coach Dan Norton, Earlier this week, his team seemed very excited to get going and very excited for this opener here today. And standing in the center of the field for the Hopkinton Hillers is number 24, Andrew Paleko. And he is set to square off for the Hillers and for the Holliston Panthers. It looks like, I want to say, number eight, Parker Lasordo. Twelve. We have four 12 minute quarters, and we are underway here at Holliston High School. It's the ball loose on the ground, and it is picked up by the Hillers. Here comes Hopkinton with possession. That's Zach Frank, and he'll launch it behind the net as the Hillers try to set things up in front. Stephen Mafiori with possession. We'll pass over to Dylan McBride. And now that is out to Connor Murphy. Murphy with the pass across over to Paleko. Here comes Andrew Paleko rushing in. He's looking for a shot, but a couple defenders get in front of him. Now there's Zach Frank with the pass behind over to Mafiori. Mafiori gets it over to the far side, back to Frank. Now Mafiori fires in front, there's a shot, and it is a save for the Holliston goaltender, Thomas Lab, the junior. Great save there, and that was a hard shot by Dylan McBride. The ball is loose along the far side. Here comes the Panthers with possession. Parker Lacerdo pass over to Joseph Lombardi, and he'll fire it over to Daniel Gonzalez. Now it's out to Connor Mulvaney. And now with possession, Christian Schneelock. Schneelock gets it back to Mulvaney. Halston trying to set something up and now coming around looking for a shot and it's deflected away. Ball loose in front, a great save there. Dan Gonzalez on the shot. And it was a nice save by the goalkeeper, Corey Bannon, the senior for the Hillers. And he's gonna run it out. Just underway here in the first quarter. We're scoreless between the Hillers and Holliston. First game of the season for the Hillers. Second game for Holliston. First TVL game for both of these teams. Jake Weinstock gets it out over to Jake Connors. And now coming up the far side, an attempted shot there by Sullivan. Weinstock is able to pass it over to McBride and they'll go around the net. With possession, Riley DePonte. Now it's out back to Weinstock. Now Sullivan gets it over to Connors. Connors to Mafiori. And another good save there by Holliston's goalkeeper, Thomas Lab. And it 
is collected by the Panthers as they come storming up into Hiller's territory. With possession, Christian Schneelock. Schneelock trying to decide where to go with it. Both of these teams just kind of feeling each other out right now. Looking for those open gaps. And there's a shot there. And it came out a little later than Ian Haywood would have liked. It ends up out of play. It is Holliston possession. Seth Bello comes around. And it's scooped up by the Hillers. And now it's loose once again off the net of Cole Salyards. Holliston with possession as Dan Gonzalez feeds it out to Schneelock. Schneelock rushing and there's a shot and it's deflected by the goalkeeper, Corey Bannon. Eight twenty and County left to go, and there's a shot and a goal for Holliston. Connor Mulvaney with the score, one nothing Panthers. Well, that's exactly what Holliston was looking for there. That was a good possession and great ball distribution by Holliston. The goal comes with. 818 left to go in the first. Both teams set to square off once again. Andrew Paleko up against Parker Lacerdo. Here comes Paleko rushing up. Paleko with the pass behind to Riley Del Ponte. Now over to McBride. And with possession, that's uh, Zach Frank. Miller's just looking for the right opportunity here to try to net one. Panthers doing a nice job covering up in front of that net. Mafiori with possession. Now comes squirting out towards midfield. Loose ball. And we'll get a whistle here for the offsides. And Holliston will have possession. Joseph Lombardi feeds it out. Kevin Lyons with possession now. Back to Lombardi he goes. Over to Dan Gonzalez. Gonzalez feeds it over to the far side. Now it's out to Mulvaney. Mulvaney with the pass across to Lombardi. Thought about the shot and feed it behind the net over to Dan Gonzalez who's tripped up and a good Body check there by Jack Sloan, who's able to pick it up for the Hillers. Here comes Seth Jenkins up the far side for Hopkinton. Connor Sullivan now. Pass to the near side of Zach Frank. Frank goes to the left of the net with it. To McBride now up behind the net. Sullivan feeds it out. Murphy with possession. Now they're going to go back behind the net, try to shake up things in front. Del Ponte. Over to Connor Sullivan. With possession now, that's Steven Maffiori. Of course, all the Hillers fans recognize that name. From Hillers Hockey, tremendous season they had going all the way to the state championship as that one's fired out of play by Connor Sullivan. 6.09 left to go in the first quarter. 1-0 Holliston lead. There's a shot and a goal for the Hillers. Zach Frank firing it in, the senior. That goal comes with 6.01 left to go. A one-to-one -one game. Well, I have a feeling these two teams gonna go back and forth all game long. A 
Lacerdo and Palaco at midfield. And Palaco going to kick it forward. Loose on the ground, up for grabs. And it is picked up by Riley Del Ponte. Now coming in is Tyler Zanini. Del Ponte fires it behind the net. Fiore with possession, gets it out to Frank. Looking for a score here. A little wide there and it's picked up by the goaltender off the net of Palaco. Fired out by Thomas Lab, and now it's loose once again. Came out of the net of Cam Pippenberg, but we have a whistle, and it is Halston Ball. Coming up the near side was Grady St. John. He was met with some contact there, and that's going to draw the flag. Fiori came in with the contact. So the yellow flag comes out, and the Panthers have possession. Hiller's down a man. There's a shot, and it is out of play. Off the net of Dan Gonzalez. Excuse me, that was... Uh, Ian Haywood, rather. And now we're going to have another goal here as Joseph Lombardi comes firing around the net and squirts it in. 2 1 Holliston. That goal comes with 447 left here in the first. Back and forth we go in this first quarter. 2 1 Holliston. Blaco and Lacerdo square off once again. Here comes Blaco. He's done very well on those face-offs. Behind the net to Maffiori. He'll fire it over to McBride, who gets it now to Weinstock. Possession now, Jacob Connors. Connor Sullivan gets it back behind the net. Maffiori looking where to go with it, and he decides to go to Connors. Hiller is having a little bit of trouble setting up what they want in front, and we're going to have a save here by Lab. That was off the net of Sullivan. Loose ball along the far side, picked up by a Hiller. Here comes Hopkinton. With possession, Maffiori. Maffiori will set up shop behind the net once again. Connors back over to Weinstock. And now around they go again. Maffiori looking for someone in front. Here's Weinstock with a shot, and that is going to be a goal for the Hillers. Jake Weinstock with a beauty there. That comes at 3.20 left to go. We are knotted up at two apiece. Blaco up against Parker Lacerdo. Well, that was a nice goal by Weinstock. 
He did a whole lot of scoring in hockey and expected to do a whole lot of scoring here on the lacrosse field. Del Ponte. Del Ponte maintains possession and fires it around. Miller is switching up a couple players. Mafiori with possession. Mafiori out to Frank. Now Frank over to Andrew Paleko. Now back to Del Ponte. Mafiori. And he was looking to get it over to Paleko to try to get a quick shot off there. Loose along the far side, and the Hillers maintained possession for the moment. Picked up by Connor Murphy. Frank fires around, Mafiori now with possession. Over the far side, loose ball. Came out of the net of Connor Murphy, and it's picked up by Holliston. Nick Deluzio with possession. Deluzio fires it down. Great pass there over to Connor Mulvaney. Behind the net now is Dan Gonzalez. 145 and counting left to go in the first quarter. A 2-2 two -two game between the Hillers and the Panthers. Joe Lombardi gets it behind the net, but it's checked out of the net of Dan Gonzalez there. Picked up by the Hillers. A nice job there by Corey Bannon. And here comes Hopkinton. Pass by Frank over to Mafiori. Now over to Sullivan. Now Del Ponte. Frank looking for the shot, and he overfired on that one. Here comes Holliston. Up the far side comes Kevin Lyons, a sophomore. Now with possession is an was an unidentified number 25. We'll have to get the name on that player. Dan Gonzalez now behind the net. And there's a shot there and a great save off the net of Ian Haywood. But Corey Bannon able to net that one up. And now the Hiller is trying to set up shop and a great goal there by Ryan Del Ponte. That was just tremendous ball distribution by Stephen Mafiori and Jay Connors and Riley DuPonte right there to net one. Three to two Hillers. Goal comes with nine seconds left in the first quarter. So two unanswered scores for the Hillers. Laco and Lacerdo square off once again. This time Lacerdo able to squirt it back towards Del Ponte. Here comes Deluzio, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. After one, it is the Hopkinton Hillers three, the Holliston Panthers two. You are tuned in to Boys Lacrosse on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication 
or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back to Committee and Field here at Holliston High School. We are ready for the second quarter of this boys lacrosse matchup between the Holliston Panthers and the Hopkinton Hillers. Tom Nappy on the call. Chris McKerney is our cameraman. An H cam, H cat combination today to bring you some Hillers Panthers action. First TVL matchup of the season for either of these teams. First game of the season for the Hillers. Halson did already have a game, in which they lost in a non-league matchup. We'll have some more details on that momentarily. The Hillers start off with possession. They have the three to two lead. Along the near side, Sullivan, he'll fire behind him, Afiori. Hillers looking to pick up right where they left off. Afiori now. Out to Sullivan, looking for a shot, there's a goal. 4-2 Hillers. Hillers trying to take control here. It comes with 11.38 left. And that was a nice goal there. To start off this second quarter and keep the momentum going. That's three unanswered goals for the Hillers. And Connor Sullivan was just set up nicely on that one. Palaco, this time he was up against Lions and he wins it. Here goes Palaco. It's behind over to Mafiori. Mafiori squirts it out up the far side to Connors. And now centered up to McBride. Now coming down was Murphy with it. Back behind the net they go. Palaco is looking for a shot there, I think. Out to Connors once again, and he nets another one. Or excuse me, Connor Sullivan. Connor Sullivan with another goal for the Hillers. That comes with 10.59 left. Less than a minute after he scored his first one of this second quarter. The Hillers rolling along up 5-2. And it looks like we are going to have a timeout on the field. 10.59 left to go. The Holliston Panthers want to talk things over as the Hillers, they have scored four unanswered goals and lead it 5-2. to 10.59 left to go in the second quarter. We'll take a timeout on either HCAM or HCAT. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Off the timeout, 10.59 left to go, a 5-2 Hillers lead. And Hopkinton just rolling along in the last few minutes of this one. Four unanswered scores for the Hillers. And Palaco has just been unbelievable on the faceoffs today as he wins that one against Lions once again. Gets it out over to Murphy, and it squirts out 
along the sideline out of play. Mafiori will try to set up shop in front as he'll squirt it out to the far side of Connors. Now it's Murphy. Now Sullivan gets it back to Mafiori. Here's Palaco. I think Mafiori, he's going to be looking for Connor Sullivan. Already two goals in this quarter. He's the hot hand right now. And that is off the side of the netting from Jacob Connors. And here comes Holliston trying to retaliate. Andrew Del Ponte running upfield quickly. Del Ponte gets it out behind the net. With possession, that's Matt Hughes. That's back down to Connor Mulvaney. 9.40 and ticking left to go in this second quarter. Mulvaney tripped up, and that'll draw the flag as he collided with Sullivan. We'll have a delayed penalty here and a Holliston goal. Connor Mulvaney, the junior, makes it 5-3. to three. So this is a big opportunity here for the Holliston Panthers as the penalty will come into effect. Palaco drops it, and then he's tripped up. And that'll draw a whistle. Parker Lacerdo kind of tripped him with the net there. And the Hillers have possession. Frank fires it down now behind the net. Mafiori looking for a shot here. And that one took a stiff bounce in front of the net off the... Netta McBride. Well, usually when you see those downward shots, it's just a case of not getting it out of the net soon enough. Matthew already fires it over to Del Ponte. That one a little far to the right. And a play it goes. Matthew already picks it up and we play on. We have a flag. We'll have a delayed call here. Mafiori out to Del Ponte. Del Ponte to Murphy. Here comes Murphy. We'll go to Frank. Zach Frank coming out. And if he had the opening there, he was going to take the shot. Connor Sullivan now with possession. It's over to Murphy. And the scoop up over to Mafiori. Eight minutes and counting left to go in the second quarter. Mafiori fires it out. There's a shot and a goal by the Hillers. Dylan McBride with the score. Good response by the Hillers. That comes with 7.58 left. And we have a 6-3 game. This Hillers team, they are showing that they have a good amount of speed. Certainly some great shooters as well. Up 
the far side over to McBride. Hillers have certainly controlled possession wise in this second quarter. And throughout the end of the first quarter as well. Palaco thought about a shot. He'll get it behind the net. Sullivan now the setup man behind the net. Here's Connors. Sullivan comes out and rips a shot off, and it went off the net of Deluzio. We get a whistle here, and it's picked up by the Hillers, and we play on. McBride with possession, gets it out. McBride over to Palaco. Now fed to Mafiori from Connors. Back to Connors. Mafiori now trying to create some space. Palaco. And now Sullivan. And Sullivan rips it in. All kinds of mustard on that one. Seven to three Hillers. Connor Sullivan just on fire in this second quarter. He has three goals in the quarter. That one comes with 6.44 left. And here we go, Holliston quick to rush up field. And that was off the net of Dan Gonzalez and the Hillers have it back. And despite some contact along the far side, Zach Frank able to maintain possession and here he comes. And there's a shot there that was deflected off of a defender's net. Well, that was from Zach Frank. There's a shot, a little wide there. Under six minutes left now in the second quarter. Hillers with possession. Weinstock to Frank. And there's a shot and it is knocked away. Mafiori with a pretty good shot there. Weinstock out to Del Ponte. And Del Ponte rips that one a little high. And it's a nice save there by Thomas Lab who's able to net it. Here comes Holliston. And there's a shot and a goal from Seth Bello. It was a nice feed from Dan Gonzalez over to Bello, who had the perfect opening, and he makes it 7 to 4. It comes with 525 left to go in the second quarter. And it's dropped and quickly picked up by Lercerto. Alston trying to get back into this game, trailing 7 4. With possession is Ian Hewood. Fires it over to Schneelock. Now they'll go around the net. Seth Bello with possession. Rushing in. And that was Kevin Lyons trying to get it over to Dan Gonzalez. Loose ball now out in front. And scooping it up for the Hillers was Cole Salyards. No, it came out of the net of Salyards and Holliston has it back. 
Lombardi was there to pick it up. And now Dan Gonzalez with possession. Gonzalez trying to come around. He'll take a hard hit. That'll draw a flag. Looks like Tyler Zanini might have been the guilty party there. Alliston had their first game this past Wednesday. They lost to Wayland 16-9. And they are hoping for a better result here this evening. But find themselves trailing 7-4 with about four minutes left to go in the second quarter. Out in front. And that one will bounce in front of the net off the net of Lions. Picked up by Lombardi. Mulvaney fires it to Haywood, now back to Mulvaney. Now in the middle of traffic was Lyons. And we'll have some contact here, jarring up the whistle. It remains Halston possession. Lombardi firing it over to Bello and now there's a shot and a great save there. Ian Haywood with the shot and a good scoop by Bannon. Bannon trying to find where to go with it. Get it over to Sage. And the ball comes loose, out of play. It'll be Halston possession. Or actually, we're going to have a uh, timeout first, called by the Hillers. 3.07 left to go in the first half. Hopkinton 7, Holliston 4. You are tuned in to Boys Lacrosse on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Continuing on in this second quarter, off the Hopkinton timeout, a 7-4 lead for the Hillers. But Halston has really picked up some momentum in the last few minutes. The Hillers with possession. Here comes Seth Jenkins. Now... Paleko gets it around to Del Ponte. Mafiori fires it out. Frank with a shot, and it's deflected away. It's picked up by Frank, who was able to get it over to Mafiori. Frank with a shot there, and that one deflected away. Loose ball, picked up by Paleko. Paleko over to Murphy. Now Mafiori fires it out. Good setup there and a great goal there by Riley Del Ponte. That comes with 2.20 left to go. 8-4 to four Hillers. Del Ponte getting in the scorebook for his second time today.
And that is just what the Hillers wanted there. We have another timeout on the field. We'll take one as well. You are tuned in to Boys Lacrosse on HCAM or HCAT. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving because if you do it, your child will too. 220 left to go in the first half. An 8-4 lead for the Hillers. And the Hillers just prior to the timeout. Had a beauty of a goal netted by Riley Del Ponte, a sophomore. Placo picks it up. Here he comes. Gets it over to Zach Frank. And now McBride. Mafiori now with possession behind the net. Two minutes left to go in the first half. And it's certainly been a great opening half of the season for the Hillers. Weinstock, still a long way to go though. Hollison has had their moments in the second quarter where they got some momentum on their side. Weinstock with a shot and a goal. Jake Weinstock fires it in and it's nine to four. That comes with 138 left to go in the second. Well, the Hillers implemented a new style of offense this season, as Coach Norton told us, and it seems to be paying off for them. Palaco up against Lacerdo. Hiller is with possession. Del Ponte to Mafiori. A 9 to 4 lead for the Hillers looking to add on here before the end of the first half. Fired out to Weinstock and Al Del Ponte. Now Sullivan back to Del Ponte, who's trying to get it over to Mafiori. Looking for a shot here, and that's wide by Sullivan. Fiori out to Connors. Now there's another shot there. That was deflected off of Panther from the net of Sullivan. Loose ball. And Mafiori able to pick it up. And that shot is a good save there. Connor Sullivan looking for the score, but Thomas Lab had other plans. And here comes the Panthers, who could definitely use a goal before the end of this first half. St. John over to Haywood. Ian Haywood trying to rush in. Loose ball once again, scooped up in the air, and it'll end up being picked up by Jack Sloan. And that will do it for the first half of play. The Hopkinton Hillers outscore Hollison. Into second quarter, six to two, and they lead it heading into the half, nine to four. You are tuned in to Boys Lacrosse on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. Nine to four Hillers at the half. 
HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Welcome back to Committee and Field at Holliston High School. You are tuned in to Boys Lacrosse, the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers, and we are ready for the second half. A 9-4 lead for the Hillers as we get things set to go here in this second half. And the Hillers just exploding in the second quarter with six goals. Outscoring Holliston 6-2 in the quarter. They outscored Holliston in the first 3-2. And right off the bat, here comes Palaco. Andrew Palaco has just been unbelievable on the faceoffs today. And he's won just about every single one of them. Tom Nappy on the call. Chris McKerney is our cameraman. Hillers start off with possession, hoping to pick up right where they left off. Maffiori out to Connors. Connors drops it briefly, but picks it up quickly. Now Wayne Stock over to Del Ponte. Sullivan fires it out behind the net. And now back to Maffiori. Out of play it goes. It is going to be Hollis in possession. Panthers getting a big turnover there, and they need to take advantage of these turnovers as they find themselves trailing by five. Over to Mulvaney. Now it's out to Lyons. Now along the far side, that gets away from Seth Bellow. And the Hillers get it back. Hillers with possession. Zach Frank gets it out to Maffiori. Maffiori, the setup man behind the net. Squirts it out to Connor Murphy, now Del Ponte, now Paleco. Now along the near side, that is Frank. Hillers taking their time here. They, they're up by five. There's no rush, but a shot there by Murphy is going to be knocked out of play. Continuing on with Hiller's possession. Maffiori to Frank. Back to Maffiori now. Del Ponte. Well, the Hillers, as I mentioned, implemented a new offensive system this season, and it's really working for them so far in this one. And when you implement that new system, and obviously it'll take some time to get used to, but the Hillers, they seem to be used to it right off the bat, and that's certainly a great sign of things to come for Coach Norton and this Hillers team. Maffiori. There's Frank. <laughs> And Frank with the shot and the score. 10 4 Hillers. That comes with 9 17 left in the third. Zach Frank in the scorebooks. That was a nice setup, too, by Andrew Palaco. Well, we have a Hopkinton and Holliston double header here tonight at Comedian Field. The girls are next up after this boys matchup is through. As Palaco squares off once again with Lacerdo. Palaco wins the battle once again at midfield. Well, that's been crucial part of the Hillers' success in this one, winning those battles at midfield, winning on those face-offs, and maintaining possession. 
Hillers have certainly dominated possession-wise so far in this one. Weinstock over to Connors. Now Del Ponte squirts it up to Sullivan. Now Connors. And a shot there and another score for the Hillers. Dylan McBride with the goal there. It comes with 8.35 left. Well, that was a great setup by Maffiori, who came running out from behind the net, saw McBride, had a good angle on it, fed him the ball, and the Hillers score again. And they are taking control in this one with 8.35 left to go in the third quarter. Timeout on the field, we'll take one as well. You are tuned in to lacrosse on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Eight thirty-five left to go in the third quarter. A great start to the second half by the Hillers. Already two goals to start things off. Zach Frank and Dylan McBride both striking. Hopkinton leading Holliston eleven to four here at Comedian Field in Holliston. It's been a nice opener for the boys of Hopkinton so far. Tom Nappy on the call. Chris McCurney is our cameraman. An H cam, H cat combination here today. As of course all the TVL public access stations work very well with each other. We certainly enjoy working with our friends over at H cat. Seth Bello up to Connor Mulvaney. Now over to Schneelock. Back to Mulvaney now. Frank got in front of Mulvaney, but Mulvaney was able to squirt it out. And it is loose. Along the near side it goes. Out of play it goes. And it's going to be Hopkinton ball. That was a great job by Frank getting in front of Mulvaney and forcing the ball out of his net, getting the turnover for the Hillers. Here comes Palaco. Andrew Palaco rushes upfield. Fires it over to Connor Murphy. And now Riley Del Ponte. And now here comes Maffiori, leaves it out in front and another goal for the Hillers. That Maffiori McBride combination striking once again. That goal comes with 7.26 left to go. Second straight goal by Dylan McBride. Second straight assist by Steven Maffiori. McBride officially has the hat trick. He had a goal in the second quarter as well. Of course, that's more of a hockey term, but why not? Works here too. And Hillers switched it up on the faceoff that time. They had Cole Salyards in there. And you're going to see the Hillers, I think, start to implement some of the younger guys in there, get them some experience. And the loose ball, as Frank was able to get the knock on it, it's picked up by Zanini. Here he goes, and he'll fire that one just a bit high. Now 
Well, you got a comfortable eight score lead, so you're going to see a little bit of everybody in this one, I think, for the Hillers. And Coach Norton, he likes to use his whole roster, and of course, he has one of the probably smaller rosters in the TVL large, so he's going to have to utilize just about everybody that he has available. Panthers with possession. There's Mulvaney. And Alston, they need a strike, and they need a strike fast if they want any chance getting back into this game. Dan Gonzalez with possession. And he had a good look out in front with Ian Haywood, but Haywood couldn't scoop it up. Pass was a little off the mark. Alston maintains possession. And now it's Hiller's possession as it slips out of the net of Gonzalez. Jack Sloan with possession for the Hillers. Bannon now, the goalkeeper, going to fire it back out to Sloan. And here comes Sloan up the far side with it. Gets it over to Del Ponte. And Del Ponte ends up out of bounds along the sideline. Panthers have it. Six minutes and counting left to go in this third quarter. Mulvaney was trying to set up Dan Gonzalez there, but Gonzalez couldn't get the shot off before Dan Sage hopped in front of him, the defensive captain. Out in front, Mulvaney gets it back over to Haywood. And along the far side, that was Seth Bello, Haywood, Mulvaney. Mulvaney and Haywood going back and forth there. It looks like Hollison just having trouble finding an opening against this aggressive Hillers defense. And there's a shot there by Dan Gonzalez, and that was diverted off a of Hillers defender. Loose ball, and it is scooped up along the near side by Mulvaney, but then Mulvaney had nowhere to go with it, and the Hillers have it. Here comes Zanini. Zanini firing it over to McBride. McBride puts it back to the net of Connor Sullivan. Well, the Hillers, they certainly implemented a new offensive system, but they implemented some things defensively, too, that are really working here today. Obviously, it's only the first game of the season, so a long way to go, but good showing so far by the Hillers. And it's always tough opening up on the road against a talented team like Holliston, but so far, so good. Up the far side, there's Koshef. Koshef trying to gather it up behind the net, and he could not do it in time, and Hollison has possession. Along the near side, that's Deluzio trying to fire it up, and it's loose. McBride picks it up for the Hillers. Dylan McBride trying to figure out where to go with it. Actually, Mafiori has it behind the net. And he calmly walks behind the net, burns some time off the clock. Great setup once again by Stephen Mafiori for none other than Dylan McBride. And McBride has the hat trick in this quarter alone. His fourth goal of the game. And it is 13 to four Hillers. Dylan McBride with three out of the four scores in this third quarter for the Hillers. Three thirty-nine left to go in the third. And I believe the rule is if there's a ten score lead, the clock will continue running. Right now it's a nine score lead.
Hillers with possession off a successful faceoff once again by Paleko. Nailers, they're having fun with this. They're getting everybody some experience in this game today. They're going to utilize everybody they have available on the roster. Jay Connors. Coach Norton stated that he feels he has a very strong team this year. Very fast team, a lot of talent. And there's another goal. Connor Sullivan with the netter. 3.08 left to go. The Hillers. Dominating the Hollison Panthers. A 10 goal lead for Hopkinton. I guess uh, the rule I stated about the continuous clock was wrong. It might be 12. We'll have to see if it gets to that point. Looking at this Holliston roster, certainly uh, a lot of younger players as well. But long way to go this season. So if you're Holliston, you certainly have some talent out there. And I'm sure they'll eventually put it all together and rack up some wins. Zach Frank gets it up the far side to Connor Murphy. Murphy trying to figure out where to go with it. Now it's actually in the possession of Connor Sullivan. And Sullivan fires it off the top of the net. Loose ball up along the near side and unable to get to it in time was Connor Murphy. Fiori with possession. Out to Andrew Paleko. And then over to Connor Murphy. Rushing in here. And misfiring is Zach Frank. Two minutes and counting left to go in the third. Matt Fiori. And he's going to bring it out. Gets it over to Frank. Frank up to Murphy. What the Hillers doing here? They're taking their time. They're being patient. They got a comfortable lead. No reason to try to rush things. Take your time. Set up shop. Find a good opportunity to try to put the ball in. Zach Frank with possession. Good pick there by Paleko, and Frank fires it away. There comes Mafiori. Mafiori trying to take it in. And he's contested by a couple of Panthers. And now we'll have a turnover as it ends up in the net of the goalkeeper, Tom the Slab. Now here comes Cam Pippenberg for Hollison. Gets it down over to Schneelock. Schneelock now with possession. Less than a minute left to go in the third quarter. All Hillers here in this third. Hollison has been scoreless so far in the quarter. And just missing a chance to change that was Connor Mulvaney. Hollison maintains possession. With possession, Gonzalez, and we have a flag along the far side. Gonzalez surrounded by Hillers in trouble. And he's able to get it away, but it's intercepted. But the flag is going to come into play here. Cole Salyards with the nice pickoff there. Clock stops at 24 seconds. Alston will maintain possession. And Hiller's man short. Loose ball. And it's picked up by the goalkeeper, Bannon, and now comes out of his net. 
And now it's loose once again. Bannon able to get back there in time, and that was great defense by the Hillers. Kevin Lyons was looking for the shot, but drew a number of pushes from a couple of Hillers who got right in there knowing that their net was empty and wasn't totally empty as Dan Sage was there to cover up the net while Bannon was trying to get back. And that is going to do it for the third quarter. The Hopkinton Hillers outscore Holliston in the third five to nothing and they lead it as we head into the final frame. Hopkinton leading Allison 14 to four. You are tuned in to Boys Lacrosse on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome back to Committee and Field at Holliston High School, 14-4. Hillers lead as we enter the fourth quarter, the final 12-minute frame. It was all Hillers in the third as they outscored Holliston 5-0. To add on to what was a 9-4 lead at the half now. 14-4. Halston trying to strike fast and furious. Here we go. Good ball distribution there. And Mulvaney fires it over. Well, the Hillers have been able to drop some good turnovers. They've dominated on the faceoffs, and it's a big Part of their success so far today. As Alston will pass it around, try to open things up. Gonzalez with a shot there off the post. And that squirts out over to the far side. Joe Lombardi will pick it up to play on. And now that one's picked up by Zanini. Here comes the Hillers. Ponte gets it back over to Frank. Hiller switching things up as Frank holds on to it. Now over to Palaco. The Hillers are not going to rush anything here. They're going to just try to hang on to it. They got a comfortable lead. But rushing in the goal there is Zach Frank. He saw the opening and took advantage. And a beauty of a goal there by the senior midfielder, Zach Frank. Comes with 10.44 left to go. That makes it a 15 to four lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. Cole Salyards up against Parker Lacerdo. Tom Nappy on the call, Chris McKerney on camera. Tune in to Boys Lacrosse on either H Cam in Hopkinton or H Cat in Hollison. Here comes Salyards. Over to Weinstock. Out of the near side of Owen McDonald, who just hopped into the game. Ponte. Pass over from Connors. And now with possession, Connor Sullivan. And he gets it back to Connors. Well, here's McDonald. Donald trying to bring it around. We have a flag there. There is some contact. And the flag comes into play here. I think this is going to be at the fault of Holliston. Clock stopped at 9.59. 
Alston down a man here. Miller's trying to take advantage. Over to Sullivan. That shot deflected away. Loose ball. And Sullivan trying to get there. And now we have a bunch of nets tangled up. And Sullivan able to scoop it up. That was a nice job by the junior, Connor Sullivan. Rushing right in the middle of three Panthers and scooping it away. Palaco squirts it out to Connors. Now past the reach of Sullivan. And Sullivan tried to keep it in, but could not get there in time. Halston ball. Lab up to Jackson gone. Here comes Gone up the near side. Gone able to get that back to Bello. Now out to Kevin Lyons on the far side, Lombardi. Up and around to Bello. There's a shot there, a little wide. That was from the net of number 25 for Holliston, unlisted on the roster. I want to say it's John Wrighty, who's listed as number 27. Hillers switch things up on the field. Clock stopped at 8.26. Left to go in this fourth quarter. All Hillers in the second half. They've outscored Holliston six to nothing. And they lead this 15 to four. Mulvaney out to Gonzalez. Gonzalez gets back over to the corner to Lombardi. Resolves a little misfire there, looking for Haywood. Out of play it goes, Hiller's ball. Dan Sage put it in play. Hillers, they've switched things up in net as well. They got uh, Colin Nor. Colin uh, Norid as the goalkeeper. The sophomore goalkeeper getting some experience. That's the great thing about having these big leads is you get everyone in the game, get them some experience. And it certainly pays off as well, especially when you need more of your roster down the line. And a misfire there by Owen McDonald. Halston Ball. Seven thirty and counting left to go in the quarter. That's the opener for the Hillers, and it's certainly been a successful one. Picked up now by number twenty four Hollis and Shelock, and we have a flag along the far side. Some hard contact there, and it, the ball will squirt up into the Hillers zone and be picked up by the goalkeeper, Colin Nord, which will draw the penalty call. Allison with possession. And they have uh, the man advantage as well. And that shot there is just a little bit wide by Haywood. Pillars have it. Up the far side, that's Brian Keefe. 
Steve surrounded by a number of Panthers. And forced out of play. Allison Ball. Feet out there to it's an unlisted number 43, and the shot was wide. And I want to say 43 might be Matt Hughes. And we're going to have a goal here by the Holliston Panthers. Here goes Ian Haywood on the score. Now it comes with 6.12 left to go. 15 to 5 is the score. Well, the Hillers have come into committee and field today and gotten the job done. And they're getting all their roster out there today. Some good playing time. Here comes Holliston with possession. It's Andrew Dezindelet. Now it squirts up as, or there's a flag that squirted up along the far side. Delayed penalty call here. Dan Gonzalez. Pass down over to who we think is Matt Hughes. And now Schneelock. And a play goes. Hillers switching up the talent on the field. It'll be Halston possession. 5.29 left to go in the fourth quarter. And there's another goal for Holliston. That was uh, Connor Mulvaney. 518 left to go and it's 15 to 6. Well, game ain't over yet. On the face off for the Hillers, Jake Connors. Connors up against Lacerdo. Here comes Lacerdo. Over to Bello. Bello trickles it along the far side towards righty. And it was an attempted setup in front of the net there by the unlisted number 43. Hiller's half possession. Weinstock. Here he comes. Over to Owen McDonald. Now Holliston with the interception there. It was a nice job by Nick Deluzio. Holliston trying to work up field quickly. And there's a shot and a Save there by the goalkeeper. Great job by the sophomore goalkeeper, Colin Norrid. Pass up the near side by Nicholas Cease. With possession now at his Owen McDonald. Less than four minutes left now. Well, the Hillers. Oh, 
Opening their season with a bang. And there's another bang for a score. Evan Koshif, the junior. That goal comes with 3.51 left to go. That makes it a 16 to six game. Well, this was a great team effort by the Hillers today. Everybody contributing. And a great victory to start off the season. Sixteen to six, Hopkinton. Three fifty-one left to go. Alston trying to strike fast. Lacerdo rushes up, shoots, and it's in. A nice job there by Parker Lacerdo. If you want some kind of miracle, you're certainly going to have to score goals. Many goals just like that. Sixteen to seven is the score. Cerdo gonna try to do it again. And we'll have a save here and a flag. I believe this will be against Holliston. Mulvaney. There's a shot and a score for Holliston. Ian Haywood with the goal. That comes with 334 left. Sixteen to eight is the score now. Oh, well, Holliston, they're not throwing in the towel. They don't care what kind of lead you have, they're gonna keep coming at you. Well, back into the game for the Hillers is Andrew Palaco. Well, the Hillers, they want to make sure they secure this one. Don't give Halson any glimmer of hope of getting back into this thing. Here comes Palaco. McDonald now. Behind the net over to Del Ponte. Up along the far side, Koshif. Now Connor Murphy. Over to McDonald. And now here comes Del Ponte. They're just, they're just gonna pass it around here. Burn that time off the clock. Connor Murphy. Gonna rush in after a pick set there, and we have another Hillers score. A Ponte Nets one. It comes with 2.40 left to go. And a nice score there by Del Ponte. Well, Sally Rhodes was set to square off with Parker Lacerdo, but we're first going to have a timeout. 2.40 left to go in the fourth quarter. The Hillers leading Alliston 17 to 8. You're tuned into Boys Lacrosse on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Alliston. So, what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. 
Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Off the timeout, 2.40 left to go. In regulation, the Hillers leading Hollis in 17-8. It's been all Hillers mostly in this second half. In the third quarter, the Hillers outscored Hollis in five to nothing, and they had the first few goals of this fourth quarter, or had the first goal of the fourth quarter, and then got some of their backups some experience. Allison was able to net a few of their own. And it'll be a nice first win of the season for Hopkinton. Here comes the Hillers up the field. With possession is Cole Salyards. Pass up to McDonald. Now behind the net to Del Ponte. Over along the far side, Koshev. Koshev takes it up behind the net. The strategy for the Hillers called run the clock and it comes out of the net of Koshev, but he'll scoop it along and able to maintain possession. He was able to knock that one back to Murphy. We do get a whistle here. Looks like we may have had a flag. <laughs> Clock stopped at 137. Look like it looks like it might have just been a timeout to Sub in some players for Holliston. And we continue on. With possession, it's Connor Murphy. Murphy hanging on to it. Burning that clock down as we're towards a minute. Minute 05 left to go. Murphy squirts it out to McDonald. McDonald rushes in looking for the shot and it is turned away and we have a flag as well. I think that's because of uh, the contact with the net on that shot attempt. Hillers will have it, 56 seconds left to go. Holliston right now only with six players on the field. And we continue on. Hopkinton has eight on the field. Or make that eight on seven. Hillers with the man advantage. And they're just gonna pass around here and burn that clock out and walk away with a win in their first game of the season. Great effort here by the Hillers. Just a good all around team win. And they dominated this game pretty much throughout its entirety. It was a close first quarter, but then after that, Hopkinton outscores Hollison six to two in the second, five to nothing 
in the third. And they didn't really have to worry about the fourth quarter. But the Hopkins and Hillers defeat the Holliston Panthers by a final score of 17 to eight. The Hillers now one and zero on the season. Holliston falls to zero and two, zero and one in TBL play. A great win by the Hopkinton Hillers. And Holliston uh, Panthers will certainly try to work through this tough loss and learn from their mistakes in this game. But uh, Hopkinton Hillers take down Holliston by a final score of 17 to eight. For Chris McCurney on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Lacrosse on either HCAM and Hopkinton or HCAT and Hollison. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.